Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another bonus love read which is going to be for the sign of Aries. The topic of the reading is what is blocking your love life? If you feel like you know you are stumbling upon one block after another and you have no clue what is blocking your love life, this reading will definitely help you know that. I will be putting out oracle guidance for you as well in this reading so stay tuned and before I dive into the read let me remind you it is a general reading it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services, including palm reading that I'm offering now. So yeah, let's dive into the read and let's find out what is blocking your love life right now. We do have our first card here, which is Queen of Swords. Um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, probably you are becoming very rigid and rude towards yourself and your beliefs are slightly kind of going off track when it comes to love life for some of you probably believe like um you know good things don't happen you know maybe things have happened such that it's hard for you to trust people it's hard for you to uh, keep yourself positive in the circumstances that you're dealing with when it comes to your love life maybe you have been trying to find love and you haven't got like lucky enough to find right kind of person even to be friends with so there are some beliefs that are kind of like you know making you have the same kind of people in your life which is you know which you probably don't want and you know maybe you're more focused on what you don't want and it's hard for you to have faith it's hard for you to trust right now for some of you you might be dealing with a person who you still love but you find hard to trust as well so there is something to do with that which is blocking your love life right now it is going to be a different uh, way for everyone out there but yes yeah, something to do with your belief system around love needs to be fixed i really feel like you know for some of you you might have become so rigid about something to deal with love and i feel like you know you have to soften yourself up you have to be open to receive and give love let's see more cards here what else could be blocking your love life right now i feel like you know for some of you probably you are dealing with someone who's who's very rigid in terms of the way they act and behave with you maybe are emotionally unavailable and you're keeping yourself stuck with the wrong person that way and in that situation probably you need to kind of like you know move past and uh uh, that that connection and that situation that you're having with someone uh, if somebody like that is a part of your life maybe you're stuck with the wrong person you're trying to change a person who is never going to change so that could also be blocking your love life right now let's see more cards here what else is blocking your love life right now I really feel like it's more to do with the faith it's more to do with the belief system it's more to do with the, um, you know, like for instance, if we talk about a relationship that you have and your person's family is not, you know, kind of um, agreeing with, with this connection, maybe you have started having a belief that, you know, they will never agree. They will never, you know, accept you. They will never approve of you. And again, once you change your thoughts, once you change your belief, once you start feeling, why not? You know, maybe they are going to change. Maybe they are going to be like, maybe they are already changing, you know. How about seeing things from a different and a fresher perspective? I feel like you know that can help you a lot. So apply that shift and trust me, everything is going to be changing for you. I really feel like you know, for some of you, like I said earlier, maybe you're stuck with the wrong person. I feel like you know somebody who has been um, misusing your kindness and love. Maybe you're stuck with somebody like that who probably needs to go out of your life. I feel like you know maybe there is somebody who has been emotionally unavailable and that has been causing you to think negative around it and i feel like you know it's it's high time that you um let things end if things have ended uh, rather than trying hard to fix things or fix someone in a connection i feel like you know, it's not your duty to fix someone or someone's life and you know keeping yourself stuck for for that person to overcome their challenges i really feel like you know especially if it's interrupting or it's kind of influencing your you or your life or your relationship in a negative way it's very important for you to know when to walk away from someone who's not treating you right. Uh, for majority of you, I really feel like you know divine has been trying to push you forward, but you have been holding on to a wrong person, holding on to a person, and kind of like you know dragging a dead fish or dead connection. Um, I feel like it's time for you to let it go. It's time for you to let it be. Uh, try to start moving forward. I feel like you know for majority of you, maybe you have become so rigid because of the experiences that you've had you have tried your luck in in relationships before and it's hard for you to let go of the past and maybe the past blocks or past connections patterns are what 
uh, is blocking your path now. So I really feel like it's very important right now for you to let go of something to do with the past and the patterns. I feel like you know, once you have uh, started looking at life from a different and a fresher perspective and a positive perspective, you will see tremendous um, you know, growth in your in your in the way your love life expands and i feel like you know you will be able to become hopeful again so something to do with that has to change to get what you want and i really feel like you know big change will happen after that so something has to change from within to trigger the change that you desire outside of you let's see what is the oracle guidance for you in that situation what is it that you probably need to do to have what you desire in love what else is blocking your love life right now? For some of you, I really feel like, you know, you have to have healthy balance in your life. I feel like, you know, for majority of you, maybe you have been obsessing about one area of your life and, you know, obsessively thinking about, like, you know, love is, bla uh, you know, love is uh, uh, bullshit or, like, love is, like, you know, uh, uh, love always hurts and everything. I feel like it's time for you to start looking at the other side of the story. Love is beautiful. Love is amazing. And for uh, some of you, probably... It's hard for you to get rid of the blocks that you're having in love because you're too focused on those blocks. It's time for you to stop thinking about love life if nothing is good in your love life right now. Try to focus on your other areas of your life. What are, you know, the things that are having uh, some movement ahead. When you're focused on those things, your love life stagnation will also end. So one thing is that, and it's time for you to work on yourself. I feel like, you know, it's very important for you to learn from the experiences that you've had, but don't hold yourself on to them so long that you start feeling blocked or tied to a wrong situation or a wrong person for some of you, you could be dealing with the person who is a workaholic which is also affecting your love life with that person it's hard for you to stay positive because um because that person has been giving you nothing again you have to make a choice you have to make a decision what is good for you do you want to stick around this person who's not valuing you or giving you time or importance or do you want to walk away from this person what gives you more happiness if you choose to stay with that person or if you choose to stay in that waiting side for this workaholic person you need to know one thing you have to be happy because that's your choice to stick around but if you cannot stay happy then you have to make a choice that you want to leave this person for your happiness until and unless you make that choice until and unless you make that decision you will not see positive shifts coming for you in your love life. So I feel like you know, it's very important for you to decide um, with 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 the with all your uh, you know understanding of uh, what you truly desire to have in your love life. I feel like you know you cannot you cannot let uh, the situation get the best of you. If you are feeling in, uh, you know um, unhappy, it's it's very important for you to um, move on, move fa uh, forward. Um, I feel like, you know, you can, you, you got to decide, you got to choose what is more important towards you. You know, if, if, uh, if you think that you want this person, um, uh, or the situation, I feel like, you know, it's, 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 it's more like stick around a person if that makes you happy. But if it does enter, you know, just, just, uh, exploits your your happiness or you know your inner peace I feel like it's time for you to move on so make that decision for yourself and uh, choose to stick around if they are worthy of it but yes if if, uh, if you cannot be positive in that situation then I feel like it's time for you to move on so yeah that's uh, pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it was of help do like share and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys take care and bye